Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my nails. I posted on my Instagram stories and told you guys that I figured out a hack on how to make your gel polish last longer even when you're painting it at home. So this is four weeks after I did a gel manicure at home and there is lots of growth and they need to come off now but as you can see they are still intact so I'm gonna show you guys what I discovered the last time I did this because I tried something and I wasn't sure if it was gonna work but it obviously did so that is what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do when you are starting to remove your shellac is you actually want to buff off the shiny surface that's on top so I'm just gonna take um, one of my filing sponges and just go over every nail quickly just to remove that top layer so it should look something like that the whole shiny top layer is now gone this just makes it easier for the acetone to penetrate the gel color underneath all right so I'm all done buffing down my nails and now what we're gonna do is get a handful of cotton balls and you're gonna rip them in half so you only really need half a cotton ball for each finger but basically we're gonna soak these cotton balls in acetone and then we're gonna let them sit on each nail to loosen the gel polish I am going to take this acetone here just make sure you buy a hundred percent acetone you can buy it from anywhere this one is just a little pump bottle so you just open the lid take one of these saturate it with acetone and then put it on your nail now you can use tin foil if you want to wrap your finger so that this stays on really nicely but i actually ended up getting these little clips from i think aliexpress uh, or something they were like a dollar but they basically look like this and they open up and you can just clamp it over your finger so I'm just gonna repeat that for all my fingers and then I'm gonna wait about five to seven minutes and then take this one off the one that I put on first and just check to see if the gel is crumbling about five minutes I'm just gonna take one off maybe this pinky one so that is pretty much what you want to happen it's starting to crumble and peel and this way it's really easy for it to lift off your nail so I'm just gonna remove all of them and start lifting this off I just use one of these tools and use the flat side and it literally just scrapes off like that don't worry about like the very edges if it doesn't lift because uh, you're probably going to trim your nails anyways if you're not going to trim your nails and the edges are having a hard time lifting like this edge right here then um, just go back in with some more acetone after you've scraped the majority of it off and uh, it'll lift and I'm just going to go over my nails quickly just to make sure that they're all smoothed out honestly it's just rough and quick I just like it because it gives me sort of a clean base to work with so your nails should look something like this now all right I am back I just washed my hands and this is what my nails look like so I'm just gonna go ahead and shape and trim all of them and then we will clean everything up around the cuticles and then get right to painting okay so now that we have filed and trimmed our nails I am going to use some cuticle oil and just clean up the cuticles you don't have to cut your cuticles if you don't want to you ne don't necessarily need to have cut cuticles to have a good manicure by any means um, so if you're not comfortable cutting your cuticles then all I would say is still do this step so apply some oil to your cuticles and push your cuticles back i'll show you how to do that in just a second but just skip the step where i cut my cuticles okay so using the same tool that i used to scrape off 
my nail polish. I am going to use the same end to push back my cuticles. So yeah, if you, again, are not comfortable cutting your cuticles or you don't want to, then just do this. So just push them back, make everything nice and clean, go right in the edges and the sides of your nail. I don't know if you guys can see, but like there's skin and stuff that just gets lifted under there. And when you get rid of that, it makes for a really nice uh, clean base for your polish. So this is what your nails will look like if you just leave it pushed back. Um, and it's totally fine this way. You don't have to cut them. I just like to cut my cuticles. I am done cutting all my cuticles. So the first thing that I do is I like to remove all the oils that we added to our finger because oil will um, interfere with how your gel will stick to your nails. It'll actually cause it to lift. Uh, it won't stick to your nail properly. So I'm just going to take a little cotton ball and use the acetone that I used earlier. So that that is the first step and then when you're done putting the alcohol all over your nails we're gonna put gel primer on our nails it basically comes in like a tiny bottle like this this one is by quo again from shoppers but um, it's just like a clear primer I guess it it just dries it's not even like a nail polish but it spreads over your nail and then it basically just evaporates it's like a clear liquid but it basically just primes your nails for the gel base coat that we're gonna apply for my top coat and my base coat they are both by sally hansen salon so they look like this so i'm going to take the base coat and i'm going to do one hand at a time. So I'm gonna show you guys the left hand and then I'll do my right hand off camera. You just wanna coat all your nails evenly. Make sure you go right to the edges, but not right to the cuticle. So you don't want to touch the cuticle with any of your polishes, not just your base coat, but even the colors or your top coat, you don't wanna to touch your cuticles. So if you've never used gel before, gel doesn't dry unless you cure it in the lamp. So you can go back in. If you think you didn't put enough, um, you can keep playing with it until you put it under the lamp. So right now you're basically just painting your nails like normal. Make sure there's no fluff or anything stuck on your nails from the cotton balls because once you cure it under that lamp, it's there for good. Like you're not gonna be able to remove it afterwards. So just take a final peek before you put it under the lamp and make sure there's no fuzzies or um, like you have something stuck to your nail, like a little bit of debris or something from your nail file, cause that will all get cured. I am going to now go ahead and put my hand in the lamp and that is the base coat. The trick comes when I start applying the color and the top coat. The base coat you can just paint on your nails how you normally would, so just from the top drag it down. Um, but I'm going to show you the trick when it comes to painting the color and the top coat, which is going to make your gel nails last for a very long time. Alright, so that is the first base coat done. Do not touch your nails, they will still feel sticky. You actually want it to stay sticky because you want all those coats to sort of stick together. We are going to move on to painting the black color now, so I'm just going to get the bottle out. But you're basically going to lift your brush out of the bottle and wipe off the excess both sides, but just leave enough on the brush that you can get, you know, uh, one one nail painted. You don't need a ton. You can always go back in with more. That's the good thing about this gel polish. But I'm going to start at the top and drag down. But again, we're not touching our cuticle. If you can see that, it looks streaky. It looks kind of thin and it doesn't look amazing. So that's okay because this is the first coat. With all gel polishes, I highly recommend that you do two coats, and if it's a really sheer color, then you do three. Um, but this is how we're gonna paint the first coat. Leave it sheer. Don't try to keep piling on the color because you don't wanna do a second coat. It won't work. 
So same thing, go to the next nail, go right up to the cuticle, but don't touch it and drag down. All right, so that is what my nails look like after one coat. You can see that it's still sheer and some of the ends, like you can see it's um, transparent, like you can see my nail through it still, but that's okay. This is just the first coat. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in my lamp and then I'm gonna show you the trick on the second coat to really reinforce your edges. Okay, these are all done being cured, and so now we're going to move on to the second coat. So here is what I want you to do differently now. Take the brush again, wipe both sides of the brush off so you just have enough to do one nail. And you're going to start at the top again, drag down and coat your nail. But when you're done, I want you to take your brush that still probably has a little product on it, and I want you to start building a little extra polish near the edge of your nail. So I'm gonna try and get closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. I want you to take your brush and just start dropping some excess polish near the edge of your nail. So play with it a little bit. And then if you see too much, like it's if you see too much, like it's kind of like bulging from the side or you have too much of a buildup right on the edge, you can just take it and, and bring it back. So you're kind of playing with it. It's a little bit liquidy and it, it works. So it won't ruin the smoothness of your nail because it's still liquid. It kind of like settles back into a smooth shape, but that's all I'm doing. I'm just like dabbing along the edge so that it gets an extra buildup of the polish. And then, and then dragging it up a little so that it doesn't look like such a apparent bump of nail polish right on the edge. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brush and drag it along the free edge of your nail. So just that free edge where you can see white, you're gonna drag it so that the edge is now black. You can see the one that I haven't painted is white still and the edge is black. So go ahead and repeat that to all of your nails. I really hope that made sense. I'll leave the camera on so you guys can see me do the other nails. second coat is done being painted as you can see all my free edges are now painted black instead of the exposed white that you saw earlier so this is what it should look like so I'm gonna go ahead and cure and then we'll move on to sticking some designs on and doing the top coat okay these are the stickers that I've decided to put from the Shein sticker sheet I'm leaving my thumb and my pinky blank, but I've got a little tree on the ring finger. I've got three little stars and then two snowflakes. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my top coat, which is the step number three in the Sally Hansen gel polish, and then we will be done. So the top coat, you're gonna paint like regular nail polish, so just from the top down to the edge, but you also want to seal off that free edge. You don't need to build the polish at the edge of your nail, like on top, but you just wanna swipe across this free edge right here, and that will help it last longer. done this is what they look like as you can see the stickers stayed on pretty well after I did the top coat 
and everything is nice and shiny. However, you'll notice if you touch your nails right now that they will be sticky. Okay, so now we just wanna wipe them down with alcohol. Do not use the acetone that we used earlier, otherwise you will just end up weakening your gel nails. Okay, so what I use is actually hand sanitizer because I don't have a rubbing alcohol at home right now. In a pinch, I've actually used perfume because it has a pretty high alcohol content, but I would save that as a last resort. This is the final result. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. I need to go do my other hand off camera now and I will show you guys the final result. I might do some different designs on here, but you guys will get to see that in just a second. All right, you guys, I am done my nails. Here is the finished result and did a little bit of a different design on this hand. I will link everything that I've used down in the description. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and please tag me on Instagram if if you guys did your gel manis at home and you guys use this technique i really want to see how you guys liked it if you guys learned to do it properly from this video all of that feedback really means a lot to me because it helps me create valuable content for you guys thank you guys so much for watching bye not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days because all i want and I pray, I believe in the better day.